Greetings and welcome to a special update for the productivity app video we shot recently uh, with the Finau X5 uh, smartwatch. If you remember, the X5 is a larger version with three buttons on the side of this phenomenal Finau type uh, smartwatch creation. This you're looking at is the X1. Why I'm doing this is because after that video was completed with everything looking good, uh, we discovered that the particular app called Floating Launcher 3 was uh, uninstallable on the smaller watch. Something about a startup screen that appeared when you first launched Floating Launcher 3 after installation caused it to be stuck. The button to go beyond was off the screen and there was nothing we could do to get it. It wouldn't scroll, you couldn't triple click, you couldn't do anything. So all these smaller watches, the Finau X1, the number one D5, and all of its brothers and sisters with one button or two buttons were left out of Floating Launcher 3. Only, and only because just a tiny number of pixels were available to tap that button on the startup screen, only on the X5 could you actually have the floating launcher? Well, one of our uh, readers, uh, Mina and uh, Stephen A, I believe, they go by, um, they weren't happy with that. They really liked the look of the floating launcher 3, so they contacted the developer, T-K-G-K-T-Y-K, -K and lo and behold, on the Play Store right now, you can download the update to floating launcher 3, and... We'll check it out and see. I've already got it preset on the D5 slash X1. Uh, we install it. And instead of going to the startup screen, ideally, it'll just launch right into the floating launcher. Now, when it's in the launcher, you have all the capabilities you had before of installing apps or putting on widgets. Boom, you open it. And there it is. It's floating with just the uh, symbol down here and something off, off on the edge. Uh, as you recall, you tap here and you can pick an app and you can load it anywhere on the screen. You can press in the screen and add a widget. Any widget you want. Yeah, let's take the recording kind. How's that? That little voice recorder. Check Allow. Floating Launcher 3 to create widgets and access their data. Now we've got that particular widget there, which we can resize. We can start recording. It's making an audio recording right now. I could pause it, stop it, so forth. This is just a widget working. And you have multiple pages that you can add to it as well. All right away on the smaller watch platform, Floating Launcher 3. So, if you watch the original and you were frustrated because you could not install Floating Launcher 3, hello, on your uh, smaller watch, now you can. Thanks to some um, really avid, uh, zealous viewers of our channel contacting the developer. I contacted him as well. There was enough momentum to start that 100th monkey thing with these watches. The 100th monkey are enough of us interested in buying and supporting these Android standalone watches that developers are starting to modify what they're doing to take into account this smaller platform in pure Android. Not Android Wear, not Apple Wear, not Google Wear, and not Samsung Wear, but pure Android Wear. Android direct, okay, the, to be able to do these kind of things. So Floating Launcher 3 is supported. Now, the other important thing I wanted to mention to you, if you recall, we had that little floating button in the other video. You can barely see it here. That was the assistive touch. And we had the square kind and the round one that put all the information on the screen uh, with buttons you could push, and it was pretty cool. We thought until we started getting some of the XDA developers um, shaking it out and finding that it was a memory or a power hog. It was definitely eating a lot of battery. And so, you know, you just leaving the watch by your bed overnight would drain it completely. And the only app that kept coming up constantly was that assistive touch. 
So after looking at alternatives and a variety of different possibilities to emulate that, uh, we hit upon floating uh, toucher, which is going to cost you a little money to have all the features, not a lot, buy the whole package, the ads free, the multi-screens, um, folders nested, all that stuff, it's worth it because it operates very much like the other one. You tap the button on the side and you bring up a window, a circular one, that has all these different options on it. Okay, a page one, two, and three. Three main pages within which you can have nested folders like that. Okay, let's go home and let's do that again from the home screen. Well, it's even more busy, isn't it? Okay. Um, here's a page here. You can see I have a whole bunch of apps installed and in addition over here I've got another little folder I created, and inside that folder are more apps. All right? In the uh, system setup, it's got a couple of nice features. You see this little icon on the upper left-hand corner? That's where you can toggle through the screen shutdown time or turnoff time from as low as 15 seconds all the way up to, and it actually includes infinite. I don't know, haven't really tried it yet on battery alone, to, if it if it keeps the display on the whole time, but definitely goes cycles all through uh, from 15 seconds to 30 minutes. You can lock it. You can bring up all of your apps in a nice display that scrolls, I guess, up and down. Okay. And... Uh, you have the settings option here. When you tap that, you get into the screen where you can do a variety of things, changing the color and size and all that kind of stuff, transparency, uh, the custom design of all three of the different pages, including adding folders within folders. All of the stuff is available to you. And then you just touch it and operate it. And you're good to go. Everything you had in the assistive touch and more in floating toucher, which is not eating a whole bunch of your memory or your uh, power. So those two things are what we wanted to point out. The uh, uh, now working floating launcher three on the smaller watch and the appropriate um, other kind of launcher called floating toucher that gives you these multiple pages. Now, one last thing. I mentioned that the 100th monkey thing is seems to be kicking in with developers paying attention to these uh, smaller uh, watch type platforms and designing or redesigning their apps in a way that can take advantage of this for all of us. Well, just a couple of days ago, halfway across the planet, another developer happened to be surfing through YouTube and hit upon these uh, videos about these amazing watches and watch the one about the X5. Not only has he now ordered an X5, but we've been going back and forth and he has redesigned this app to take advantage of this platform and all the things it can do. What app is this? Well, we're going to talk about it a lot more. But if you want to go and check out a really amazing watch, Chrono Surf Pro. See you soon.